What's up, y'all? My name is Crony. Here we are back with another episode of Tales of Battle Spotia with our team, as you can see over there as well as up there. Volcarona and Metagross, um, or OU, and then Trevenant and Honchkori, Gastrodon, and Malamar are lower tier. So, we're gonna see how this does. I mean, Metagross is good. Volcarona is fucking weakness policy. So, we're gonna see how that goes. I, I don't... I don't. I didn't know what else to run in it because Gastrodon need the leftovers. Uh, I could have given a shell though. I don't know. But um, K Maru is gonna fight because that Jap that Japanese security is actually called a Maru, just so you know. So Jolteon is probably gonna start. Uh, and then the Ferrothorn Greninja Grand Bull out of nowhere. Uh, Gengar and Blades again are here. So um, because that Jolteon, I want to bring Saiken, and I think he has Hidden Power Grass. The only thing that would uh, fear me is that Greninja and that ho uh, I always call it a Toxic Conendra, no, that Ferrothorn, if I brought the Saiken. Because that could, Saiken can take the Gengar, uh, Blaziken, kind of-ish. Um, although because of those physically offensive Pokemon in the Blaziken, I kind of don't want to bring... I don't have any Focus Sash users. I guess maybe I could have made Kappa Focus Sash, but then it's, uh. It's per that's not really its purpose. So I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring, uh, Saiken. No, wait, hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna bring Saiken. I'm gonna start with Saiken. I'm gonna bring Kappa. Um, no, 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 that's a bad play. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna exterminate. Yeah, I think I'm gonna bring Kappa. If I can get that superpower off on something, then I can probably take on that blaze again. Uh, is what I is what I would think, but it's not what I know. I hope that we can have a good session like last time. Oh my god! I'm not bringing any ice types this time, so Greninja is gonna start off, which is fine. As long as it doesn't have Grass Knot, I'm fine with that. Uh. I can actually go for a yawn here. I'm gonna go for the yawn. Predicting the, uh. Grass Knight! He doesn't have Grass Knight! Ah, oh, this is gonna kill Psyche in one hit! It's that you just don't see as many, um. Mons of that sort anymore. So, um. Now that he's yawned, I can actually switch and exterminate. Um, and get some, um. Uh... Actually, no, I'm gonna go into Kappa. I'm gonna go to Kappa, uh, he's not gonna switch out! Um, but this thing's asleep now, no matter what. Uh, which is very nice, uh, as he's gonna get the U-turn off, of course. Uh, that's actually gonna do a lot of damage, to, as in kill. So, so much for that, um, uh, um, getting that, uh, initiative. We're gonna get to see what he switches into, but uh, it's gonna be the Gengar. Oh my god, that was just all sorts of bad plays. Oh, uh, when I see Greninja is so so strange. Cause he can run physical moves, he can run special moves. Ah, all over the place. Um, so I can go and exterminate here. Um. Let's see, if I go in Exterminate, and just Zen head, but no, he's going to be faster than me on turn 1, he's probably going to be able to take me out with the Shadow Ball. I'm just going to Psyche and go for Recover. Oh my god, that was awful, awful, awful plays. Because basically, I'm nowhere better than where I was before. Nowhere better than where I was before. He's going to Mega Evolve, uh, so there's no switching around anymore. 
Oh no, is this Destiny Bond? Shit. This is Destiny because he's gonna be faster than me. Why do all these things run grass coverage? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. When I think of Gengar, I just don't think of coverage for whatever reason. But he's gonna be able to take out my exterminate in one hit with a Shadow Ball because I'm not gonna outfeed when I Mega Evolve. There's no way, shape, or form that I can. Um, but if I do, then I outspeed Greninja, I think. No, I don't. Do I? I don't know. If I can live a Shadow, eh, it's probably gonna leave me with, like, red if I do live it. But I most likely don't because it's gonna destroy my face. If I exterminate. That was just awful battle one. Awful battle one because I said the Greninja probably has Grass Knot. Um, but honestly, what could I have done? Because I wouldn't have been able to... Mm, I just didn't expect that U-turn. I did not expect that U-turn. But I'd be able to switch into Kappa. No, but then you would have switched into Gengar. I should have just gone and exterminate. No, but then Gengar would have been able to come in and just one-shot me. It's a Shadow Ball. And then I have Kappa. Yeah, that Gengar probably would have destroyed my entire team. Because I don't have Choice Scarf users. I don't have anyone who's Choice Scarfed. So this is a, this is a great tur battle one. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we can turn it around, but you know. But you know, I guess I was just over-preparing for that, uh, Blaziken, and not really for the Greninja or the Gengar. Well, I guess I kind of thought about the Gengar, I was like, let's bring my special wall. But I did expect the Gengar to have energy, but because when you see a Gengar, I don't know. Go in the comments below, leave a tip in the chat with the Octothorpe tip jar if you ever, within this episode, think I'm doing something incredibly stupid, like switching in on a clearly energy bald Gengar. So we're gonna fight Arufa, Arfa, with the Metagross, Altaria, Talonflame, Seismitoad, Whimsicott, and Rotom Wash. Uh, I could bring Hollow Ichigo. Hollow Ichigo takes care of two of his moms easily. Um, also, Hollow Ichigo is the Shadow Claw for that Metagross and the Earthquake. So that's a thing. Um. What do I think he's gonna start with? I think he's gonna start with Talon Flame. This is not a favorable situation. Not a favorable situation. Um, because Brave Bird kind of ruins everything about everything. Um, I think I'm gonna start with Exterminate because he has two fairies. Um, I'm gonna bring the uh, Eos Luma. I'm gonna bring Hollow Ichigo. That is what I'm going to do, and hopefully, Alpha isn't gonna fuck me up like the other person. Hopefully. Hopefully, maybe this is just a badly constructed team. Let me know in the comments with the Octothorpe tip jar. Leaving a tip. He's gonna start with Plume Blanche, and I'm gonna start with Exterminate, which is a fantastic turn one. Fantastic turn one. There's no way he's staying in. Um, the question is, what is he gonna switch into? So, uh, he's predicting the steel attack, so he would switch into a water type. Um, probably if he brought Seismitoad, he could switch into that. Uh, I'm trying to think of a move that would give me initiative. See, so if he stays in and goes for, and I go for a power up punch, I'm doomed. Uh, utterly doomed. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for a power up punch. There's the withdrawal. There's no way he would just stay in. There's no way he would just stay in. He's gonna send in Lessive, which is the Rotom Wash. So that power up punch was the right play uh, to get that plus one. And hopefully I can Zen headbutt this thing to oblivion in the next turn. Uh, Tough Claws is gonna boost this thing up. And I'm still, I'm not gonna lie, I'm still salty this thing doesn't get Iron Fist. Because come on. Think about it. Meteor Mash is the one move that's boosted by Iron Fist that isn't given that any that no user of uh, Iron Fist can actually use Meteor Mash, and they make a Mega Evolution for this thing that gets Meteor Mash as a signature move and it doesn't get Iron Fist. Look at these things. These are Iron. Look at those. It's like Iron Fist. I mean, yes, they're also claws. They're tough. Whatever. Aerosmith is gonna come in, which is the Talonflame, and that that makes me a sad puppy because he's gonna be able to up and go for a Flare Blitz. I'm gonna live 
Oh yeah, exterminate, just exterminating everything on your side of the field, bitch. You're not living a plus one Zen head, but if you're Rowan Wash, ain't you ain't Aerosmith. Aerosmith, the smithing of arrows. <laughs> Mega Metagross is coming through for us this game. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Metagross, why aren't you an Uber yet? Why the hell aren't you an Uber yet? If A gets slashed in Uber, why the hell aren't you? Jesus Christ. Meteor Mash is going to come through. He's not going to make it evolve because he's predicting his steel attack. But I am plus one. So, bye bye bets. Whew, so, turn, or battle one. We got a, um, we got a sad little, uh, failure of a game. And then, battle number two, we got a nice little Mega Metagross sweep. So, that's, that's beautiful. That's just a little bit beautiful. I kind of do want to get that weakness policy, um... Uh, that weakness policy of uh, Volcarona off, but I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna have to get a Quiver Dance off, and he's gonna have to go for a super effective water attack or something. Uh, that's special. Not an Aqua Jet from a Belly Drummed. Not even. It doesn't have to be Belly Drum. It can just be an Azumarill. Just a regular Azumarill with huge power. Aqua Jet. Boom! You're dead. Bye. You're dead. You're dead. You're doomed. Done. Death. We're gonna go over one more battle here, and hopefully, we can have a good time. Because I like to have a good time when battling. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but if I don't have a good time, then, uh, you know, things just aren't good. Because when you have a good time, things are actually kind of good. Music Lottery has stopped. We're fighting j from Peru. Guero and Dianzi! Well, that's, I'm sorry, but even though you wanted Dianzi, uh, you have a Meowstic. Holy wrath! Hello. Glade, Blazing, and Sceptile, and Malamar. So we share the Malamar. Uh, I feel like Black Haze will come in very important because that's Sucker Punch. Um, I think he's going to start with the Blaziken or the Gallade. Um, because of that, I'm going to start not with Eos Luma, although I'm going to bring it. I don't know. I don't know. Mm, because that Blaziken... I don't have any physically defensive Pokemon except for Exterminate. I think I'm gonna have to bring that again. I think, but what am I gonna start with? If I think he's gonna start with Blaziken or Gallade? Um. I'm gonna start with Black Haze. Because if I think he's going to start with a Blaziken, then there's no point. But then if I start with Exterminate, he can just one-shot me with fucking Flare Blitz. You know what? If I can take a Flare Blitz from an Adamant Town Flame, I'm going to guess that I can take one from a Blaziken. So we're going to start with Exterminate, we're going to bring Aeos Luma, and we're going to bring uh, Black Haze. You know what would be funny? If I had brought Black Haze and a uh, Weezing named Purple Haze, that would work. Totally work, 100%. But he is going to send out Fiero, which is the Meow Stick. Huh. Huh. Are you going to want to set up a Reflect? If you set up a Reflect, I'm not going to be too mad about it, because I do have the Aos Luma in the back. Metagross and Metagross should do a good amount of damage to you with the Reflect up, even. Um... No, he's not going to go for any kind of prankster attack whatsoever, so he's probably just going to smack me the Shadow Ball. But Meteor Mash is going to one-shot you! Bye-bye! I thought you were defensive. That's probably because I always see you with screens. Probably because I always see you set up screens, so you're probably more defensive in uh, because of the screens, but not today. Galagon is going to come in because he's a Gallade. Um, which does actually kind of suck for me, but I'm just going to go for a Zen Headbutt, hoping for the best. Maybe a flinch or two, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. If I do get it, then well, you know, that's just how life works. But if I don't, then well, Shadow Sneak, that's not gonna do much damage at all. I mean, you're trying to get that priority, I understand that, but no. But no, but no. You've been better to try and knock me out in one hit with a close combat and not get hit at all. That critical hit doesn't even need the flinch because you went turn two, but you know, whatever. 
Maybe he was like, he's gonna flinch me, this guy's a flinch master, come on guys, he's gonna flinch me with his head, but we need to get that first hit. Polyav is gonna come in, so that's gonna die in one hit to his head headbutt. So it looks like exterminate, just exterminating my opponent. The one game I didn't bring exterminate, which was the first game. So yeah, that was a... Uh... You could say true extermination. Anyways, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. If you, I just realized if I had actually brought exterminate turn the battle one, I probably would have because those energy balls taking on Saiken is what fucked me up. I mean, you turn, you turn. Wait, no, I did bring it. Did I bring it? I think I did. Didn't I? Yeah, I did. Didn't I? Yeah, it got it just got fucked up by Gengar. Never mind. Herp a derp a derp a herp. Herp a derp a derp a herp. I brought exterminate all three battles, but uh, Gengar's just as worse as <laughs> I'm sorry, I done goofed. I, I done goofed. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a comment below. Tell me when you what you enjoyed, as well as any tips, because I already said that spiel. So, till next time, Penguin Nation. Out.